Four to five hundred horsepower going through the front wheels. Jeez. I'm a retard. Yeah, there's no cars in this. Oh, my Hellcat. Oh, yes. Hey, what the? Hello, and welcome to an episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. In today's episode, I'm actually going to go buy a whole new car instead of fixing up a car because I've been doing a lot of fixing cars off camera and I've gotten kind of bored of it. So I'm going to go to the car salon, which, if you don't know what a car salon is, the car salon is a car dealer. Probably there's something interesting here. Okay, let's look. Oh yeah, that's not really all that interesting. It's just a little Audi. Four popper? How much power does this little four popper make? Makes 308 horsepower. Hmm. You know, this thing could actually be a pretty good car. Let's see what the ins- uh, that's a Mustang RTR. Wait. It- well, from the front end, it's a Mustang RTR because it has, like, these little things there. But it's not a Mustang RTR. Okay. However. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 5-0 -oh Coyote. How much power are we making here? 4 into 37? Oh, it's the old screen. Okay. What? It, it's the old uh, dashboard. Start it. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'm taking this. Bye. I'm buying it. I haven't even seen the whole shop yet. I'm buying it. Oh, wait. God dang it, I'm an idiot. I already have a Mustang. I already have a Mustang, but whatever. What's this over here? Oh, this is the in-game kind of fake Mustang thing. Pagani. I already have one of those. Crown of Vic. But I, yeah, I'm definitely going to buy this Audi. I'm, de I'm also going to soup it up a lot. So, let's see what this uh, four popper sounds like. Like any other old four cylinder. Uh, car. Yes. Car parking. Even though I um, I did just buy this Mustang, uh, we're not actually going to be modifying this Mustang today. I'm going to do something a little bit more different than usual. Take a little four cylinder and modify it to crap. Just to try to get as much power out of it as possible. So, throw that in the paint shop, I guess. And then, this Bentley is something that I'm working on off camera. Also, this thing's gonna go to parking. And actually, just for uh, lag reasons, this is also gonna go to parking. And now I'm gonna go get um, that little Audi. There's a problem with the following asset. B A O H V heavy B. Choose between two options. Quit to menu, leaving save game intact. Try to install DLC or mod again. Check if Steam is in online mode. Try to load game again. To continue playing without missing mods or DLCs. Missing cars slash parts will be permanently deleted from your save. Fuck. Should continue playing. Because last time I checked... Yeah, there's no cars in this car. Oh, my Hellcat. Oh, yes. Hey, what the? The... Where's the engine? Oh, I guess that's what it was talking about. My Hellcat glitched out. Okay. Anyway, this car, first status, move to garage. I wonder why it, like, decided then to glitch out, whatever. So, not that. Okay, move car to lifter B. Now, let's go over to, uh, lifter B. Lift the car up. And now, let's start the disassembly of the engine. So, this is an inline 4 B engine, okay. So, now I'm just gonna go buy all those parts that I need. Okay, now I've just bought all the, like, specific parts for this car. Okay, let's just start simple, take out, taking out the throttle. And exhaust and take manifold, not exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold's on the other side. Oh, and this is uh, direct injection. Okay, that's cool. I like direct injection. Except, I like uh, dual injection better because it uh, prevents the car room from building up. Because um, in a normal engine, it has port injection. 
And, uh, this engine looks to be turbocharged today. But anyway, so, um, an engine that, um, is not direct injected, the gas is sprayed on the valve, and the valve opens up and sets the gas into the cylinder, which cleans off the valve. However, direct injection sprays the gas directly into the cylinder. So, there's no cleaning of the valves, and everything gets kind of carboned up, and, uh, ends up not going so good for you, really. I'm just going to do a time lapse of all these camshaft caps. Oh, and also, real quick, since it is, uh, dual, uh, dual cams. There we go, buy that. No, let's see. I'm going to remove all the timing stuff. So, take this out, the belt, the power steering cup. There's the alternator. Also, so since uh, the engine in my Hellcat decided to just disappear, I guess I'm just gonna have to throw in a new engine. Or get the new Dodge DLC. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened because um, they had the Hellcat mod and then the modern Dodge DLC came out. Oh yeah, that's definitely what happened there. So now I can't use my Hellcat. <laughs> That's ironic. I am going to be putting uh, new transmission stuff on it so I can adjust the uh, gears and just add as many gears as I want, really. Okay, so let's take off this idler roller. And I need to go to this side of the engine so that, uh, lag. So that I can take off the timing cover. Why is there just like the little tiny timing cover right here? What could possibly be under here? Oh, that's where the timing chain is held. But that actually does make the timing chain kind of, like, just easy to, uh, find because the timing chain is, uh, just on the top of the engine. So if you have timing issues, yeah. Already down to the cylinders, okay. Now let's lift the car up. I don't like those wheels. Those are probably going to get changed in a future episode. Anyway, oil pen. And yeah, 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 I'm not gonna, um, drain the oil, so I'm just gonna deal with the cost because I have a lot of money. Now let's take the rod cap off. All of them. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving the crankshaft, uh, and then everything. I just need to take all the rod, uh, rod caps off so that I can, uh, take the cylinders out and put performance cylinders in there. Now I need to take the gearbox off. So I need to take the wheels off. Because um, in one of these front wheel drive cars, you gotta take off the axle, uh, because it's front wheel drive. Oh, and oh, I was hoping this would be an all wheel drive car. So really, putting all this power in this car is gonna be really dumb, because it's front wheel drive. So this is front wheel drive, and I'm putting a crap ton of power into it. I mean, it from factory had 308 horsepower that's kind of a lot going through the front wheels front drive shaft gearbox take that off so and there we go clutch release bearing clutch pressure plates clutch plate and the flywheel actually uh yeah what i am gonna do is because i don't have to take the engine block out I'm just gonna start uh, assembling some stuff right now. Okay, flywheel, put on one of those. The clutch plate, clutch pressure plate. And then I'm gonna need to put on the throw up bearing. And there we go. That's a gearbox. I don't have an inline four gearbox in here. Uh, custom gearbox shop. Gearbox inline four should be somewhere around here. There it is. Put that on. Oddly, I had two inline four gearboxes just sitting there in my inventory. Now I can put on the front drive shaft, front drive axle, and I can put on the wheel. Trust me, this thing is going to get a lot fatter front wheels and rear wheels when I'm done. Over here, put on the axle. There we go. And the rim. Rim and, well, the wheel. Okay, now I can uh, take the pistons out, and I'm going to rebuild it. And, okay, so piston. Okay, come on, get the right camera angle. There we go. Piston. 
piston, other piston, and there's piston number four. Let's put all new ones in. Do I have any performance pistons just in my inventory? Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, there's all the pistons, and let's start it back on. Now, starters that I could put on the new engine head, which adds 10% more power. That's pretty good. Intake manifold. Okay, I have actually two performance ones of those. And both of the camshafts can go on. Along with the fuel injectors. Probably should have put those on uh, earlier. I have a lot of inline four fuel injectors. Now you just gotta like get under here and shove your head under the intake manifold to get that on. V6 saddle. Alternator. I'm curious as how much power this is gonna make. I'm gonna say it's gonna make about well, it only has four cylinders, so... Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna say maybe four... Four to five hundred horsepower. Four to five hundred horsepower going through the front wheels. Jeez. I'm a retard. Okay, got the turbo on. Turbo adds seven percent more power. So between the engine head and the turbo, we're already adding 17% more horsepower. Now it's 21% more horsepower, including the exhaust manifold. And the cam gear, put that on. And the serpentine belt. Now I'm just gonna do a time lapse here. Okay, there. Uh, so we got basically most all the top of the engine done here. Now I'm gonna put some performance ignition coils on it. I have a lot of ignition coils too. I bought a lot of them a long time ago because I kept uh, having to use them on cars because basically any car that you repair, usually if there's a lot of issues, there's definitely gonna be an ignition coil issue. Now the belt tensioner can go on here. Timing cover. And the crankshaft pulley. We're getting pretty close to the cinder being done. This is a lot faster than replacing a big V8 because a big V8 takes forever to build because there's a big, it's double the amount of cylinders. It's twice as smooth, but it's also twice as long as a bank. And also, my voice is really not doing so well today. Timing chain. So we got most of the timing. Oh yeah, we have done all the timing now. Okay. What else? Oh yeah, fuel filter. Forgot about that. Fuel filter that adds 0.6% more power. Also the air filter. Yeah. I like this. It uses screws instead of clips. Hmm. Air filter. Put a new one in. And there we go. Anything else over there that I need to put in? Okay, no, so... Let's lift the engine up. And now I'm gonna need to put in all of the rod caps. And we are done. Wait, uh, also the fuel um, pump. Fuel pump, take that out. And put the new one in. Okay. Now I just need to fill it up with oil. Oh yeah, and I also need to, to, do, to do the um, exhaust system. There we go. Now the exhaust system. So is there anything like... Okay, so I know that they don't have a specific part for the front exhaust section. So won't be replacing that. However, Cadillac, Cad Cadillac converter and down. Can say cat catalytic converter there. I guess because I'm a little bit sick, that's why I can't say catalytic converter. Question is, do I have a rear muffler B in my inventory? No, I don't have one. So I need to buy one. Well, as it turns out, there is none. So 
That's not being replaced. This is being replaced. And this is. Nope. Take that off. Middle muffler. Catalytic converter. Oh yeah, I finally said it correctly. Okay, now that the car is completely done, let's put on the dyno. Okay, run dyno. I'm gonna say maybe four to five hundred horsepower. Oh yeah, look, front wheel drive. Yeah, five hundred horsepower, which means sixty-three percent more horsepower. Five hundred four horsepower in a front wheel drive car. I'm an idiot. Okay. So, I suspect that the only thing that's going to happen here is this front wheel spinning and a lot of understeer. Yep. That's um, all that's happening here. But if you go in a straight line, it goes pretty fast. That's the only time it actually goes pretty fast. So, this will be pretty good on the Autobahn a little. Anyway, I hope you like this episode. And goodbye.